When the sun goes down, the moon comes up, at least metaphorically. But even though the sun isn't there to give us sunlight, the moon provides us with moonlight. The white glow of the moon is a lot more subtle and perhaps more angelic than that of the burning ball we call the sun. However, it's important that the moon isn't too bright. Otherwise, how else would we sleep? Yeah, the moon is the perfect little nightlight in the sky. But is it actually a light? In the sense that it produces its own light? Or is there something else up there in the cosmos that makes the moon bright? If so, how on earth, or should I say in space, does this work? So before I give you the answer, please don't forget to hit the like button if at any point in the video you enjoy this, and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So with that said, on to the answer that you came here for today. So does the moon produce its own light? The moon does not produce its own light, and it has no way of doing so. Unlike the sun, which is a giant burning ball of gases that produces blinding rays of light, the moon is a large rock. It, therefore, cannot produce its own light. Instead, the sun produces the moon with its light. Up in the cosmos, the sunlight reflects off of the moon's surface back onto Earth, providing us with moonlight. So you could say that it's sunlit moonlight. But with this in mind, let us now continue to see how all of this works, including why the moon specifically glows and why it's white in colour too. So we now know that the moon produces light by reflecting travelling rays of sunlight that bounce off its rocky surface. And that's because the moon is a non-active rock. And that's, that's key to this discussion and something that you should remember because it will come in handy later on. If you haven't noticed already, the sun is pretty damn bright. Its fantastic rays of light travel approximately 150 million kilometres to Earth to bless us with all of its benefits. From vitamin D to crop growth, the sun is our ally. Of course, that's not to say that it isn't dangerous, but that's a discussion for another day. Anyway, the point is that the sun's rays travel a very, very long distance. And if they can reach Earth, you can bet that they can reach the moon. Now these rays bounce off the rocky surface of the moon and reflect back down to Earth. And the moon is able to perform this fantastic reflection because it is a non-active rock. Think of it this way. Have you ever seen sunlight catch a mirror? What happens to the mirror? For a split moment, whilst the sun reflects, the mirror illumin illuminates brightly. This is what happens to the moon as well, except the quantity and strength of the rays are much larger. So the moon is able to reflect the sunlight much more powerfully and also for the entire night while, whilst it's up in the sky. So rather than being a light source, the moon is better described as a reflector. Without any sunlight, the moon would not be able to light itself up, which means we sadly wouldn't be able to see it at night time at all. So naturally the question arises, why does the moon glow? Well, the moon glows because it creates an illusion by appearing as if it is emitting light, when in actuality it is reflecting light. So the moon will glow brighter during different phases of the moon's cycle. And not only does the moon reflect sunlight to illuminate itself, but it also has a nice claiming glow to its appearance in the night sky. To understand this, we must remember that the light coming off the moon isn't actually being emitted by the moon. It's been reflected off of the moon. So in a way, the light that we see on the moon is an illusion. Also, it's important to note that the sunlight bounces off the moon's surface, an action that adds to the illusory glow of the moon. So how much the moon glows depends on the amount of light being reflected off of it. You see, the moon goes through different phases. During some stages, less of the moon's surface is available to reflect sunlight off it. These phases are the ones where the moon is only visible as a crescent in the sky. During the full moon phases, there's much more moon surface available to chip in with the reflecting activities. The moon glows brighter during this stage. Now, that's all well and good, but getting to see the moon glow big and bright is a wonderful experience. But there are some cons to it as well. The more sunlight the moon reflects and the brighter it is, the harder it, it is to see other objects in the night sky. This is because the night sky becomes lighter when the moon is brighter. And as 
you telescope addicts will know, you need the sky to be as dark as possible to see as many different objects as possible. So a full moon phase probably isn't the best time to crack out the telescope. So why is moonlight white? Well, moonlight is white because the naked eye perceives dimly reflective light as white. So if you look at the moon at night and you think it looks pink, then I would suggest you visit the opticians. The moon, to pretty much everyone, looks white, although sometimes it can look yellow. But most of the time, to most people, the moon appears white when we see it in the night sky. So why is this? Well, the truth is that even though the moon reflects sunlight, it's actually quite a poor reflector of light as reflectors go. It only does so well to glow in our night sky because it is fairly big. As it is a poor reflector, the intensity of the light it reflects is quite low. On Earth, with our naked eyes, we humans struggle to distinguish colours when the light is dim. So what do our eyes do? Well, they perceive the moon as white. And, well, here's the plot twist. The moon's actual colour, if you didn't know this already, isn't white at all, nor yellow. The moon is only white and yellow to us because we see it when it reflects light. If it wasn't reflecting light, we wouldn't be able to see it at all. Because the truth is that the moon is actually very dark. It's a rock, after all. The moon is actually dark grey in appearance without the presence of light bouncing off its surfaces. But because of the limitations of the naked human eye, we don't perceive any of this dark greyness. Instead, our eyes perceive the moon as white. So your moon has been found out. It doesn't produce its light after all. In fact, it does nothing. It simply orbits the Earth, allowing the sun's rays to bounce off its surface to fool everyone into thinking it is a light source. But it's not. It's the moon, a non-active rock that acts as the world's nightlight in the sky. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. That tells me I should continue making videos like this. And do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I've got lots of videos on my channel if you want to check them out and a lot more coming up as well. So if you hit the bell button, then you'll be notified as and when I release them.